unpopular opinion. I think the advice online about building an email list is completely useless. It is so bad and so unhelpful, it drives me up a wall. I feel like the experts on the internet are always giving this like incomplete information about list building, which means that for those people who actually follow it, you just have pretty much no chance of getting anywhere. So in this video, I wanna explain the full picture, not just the little sliver of information that all of the list building courses and videos are talking about, which leaves you kind of in the same spot six months from now with an email list of two people plus your mom. Now, I recently looked into my ConvertKit analytics and saw that over the years, over 48,000 people have opted in to my freebies. 48,000, that is bananas. So. Do you know that the recommendations in this video clearly work? So watch all the way until the end because I'm going to give you the full picture of what you actually need to do to build an email list and most importantly, grow that email list like crazy. So here is what most information online will tell you to do to create an email list. Create a freebie. Now, in one way, this is great advice. It is true that no one cares about your call to action to subscribe to my newsletter and that giving away something useful like a freebie will significantly up the conversion rate from people seeing the opt-in call to action to people actually getting on your email list. But just creating a freebie is truly just a fraction of the equation and one piece of the puzzle. So if you create a freebie and that's it, it's almost a complete waste of your time because you're missing the second piece, which is absolutely vital. And only with this second piece, is there any chance at all of you building that list? It's a little bit like when you want to create a sugary explosion. To make that happen, you would need two things. First, a bottle of Coke, and second, Mentos. Now, alone, they're just stable sugary items, but when you mix them together, that is when the magic happens. So think of the Coke as your freebie. It's decent by itself, but if your end goal is to make a sugary explosion, well, it's not gonna do much for you alone. Now, the second ingredient is the Mentos, and this is the key ingredient to making the explosion happen, and it is your traffic. And this, for some wild reason, seems to be a complete afterthought for all the experts teaching list building. Now, the entire reason you want an email list is so that you have an audience. And then the experts tell you to create a freebie and then share it with your audience completely forgetting that you don't actually have an audience. So that's the entire reason you wanted to build the email list in the first place. So when experts tell you to create a freebie and then promote it, and you're thinking, promote it to who? I don't have an audience. Then just know you're not crazy. They're just giving incomplete advice. Now, what I found is if list building experts do deign to give advice on getting people to see your freebie, they often recommend that you post about your freebie on your personal social media, but of course this also doesn't actually work because you've either already or are soon about to realize that all of your friends and family aren't necessarily your ideal clients and the vast majority of them probably aren't all of that interested in your topic or you post to your business social media account, for example, which maybe has a grand total of like 300 followers on it and then you get a grand total of like one email opt-in from those followers when you share your freebie with them. And the reason this happens is because of conversion rates. Not every social media follower, even if they are interested in your topic, will opt in when you tell them to opt in on social media. Now, you're likely to get just a couple of opt-ins from maybe a 300 person social media follow. And that's when you realize that you have a long way to go. Of course, if you have a social media following of like 100,000 people, then yeah, sure, just posting to your social media will get you the opt-ins that you need. But if that is not the case for you, then this is another big waste of time for most business owners. So how exactly do we get the Mentos, AKA the traffic, so that someone actually visits your opt-in page and therefore you get opt-ins on your freebie? Now, the next piece of advice experts give is so bad that if you find someone who recommends this to you, I would honestly truly walk in the other direction and find the closest door and leave and never trust another word that person ever says again. What am I talking about? I'm talking about ads. Ads are not a beginner's game with a beginner's budget. Starting an email with ads works in one of three situations. First, you already have a product developed, sales materials are all prepared, and it converts well to a non-ads audience, and you have maybe 20 grand to test audiences and copy and creative. Ads are so expensive that if you want a return on that ad spend anytime soon, you're going to want some decent ad startup cash and a really proven to sell product. Or situation number two, you are independently wealthy or the child or spouse of a multimillionaire 
and your business doesn't really need to make a profit anytime soon. Or the third situation that you might wanna use ads in is you invent a time machine, you take yourself back to 2016, when you could get leads, aka email subscribers, for a dollar each. Those are pretty much the three situations where I would say it still makes sense to run ads as a list building strategy as a beginner. Now, if none of those three situations apply to you, however, I probably wouldn't suggest it. So if posting to your own social media doesn't work and running ads isn't right unless you're already super wealthy and can risk losing 20 grand to start, or if your time machine still isn't quite completed and operational yet, then what exactly can you do? Let's see if you can guess it. It costs only your time and effort. It builds trust and credibility and goodwill with your ideal clients more than anything else out there. And it'll pull its weight generating traffic both today and years from now. And final clue for you, Google loves it. Do you think you have it? If you guessed creating content, then 10 points to you, Glenn Coco, you are right. Content generates traffic and people to your website who are highly interested in your topic. These people are buyers. After all, they literally Googled a thing which then brought them to your content, meaning that you're not just like interrupting them mid scroll, but they're actively in pain and they're actually searching out answers on Google to try to find help. And then there you appear number one in the search results with your fantastic thorough piece of content. Now, I'm talking all about content that Google will show here. So I don't actually mean that TikTok or that Instagram story, which has the lifespan of a mayfly. Instead, I'm talking about blog posts, YouTube videos, and podcasts, basically long forms of content, which is searchable, lasts beyond 24 hours, and which typically appears in Google. Now, when you create content, your traffic increases, and when you have traffic, you suddenly have actual interested people to send towards your freebies. Now, if you don't have traffic, no one will see your freebies, and that means you won't get opt-ins, and your list is likely to stay a party of three for quite a long while. And without the opt-ins, you won't be able to get back in touch with that past traffic come sales times. That's why content creation and list building truly need to be done together. Now, I know, I know the sexy thing that you're really interested to hear about is all about what kind of money you can make down the line when you have that audience. How would making $20,000 on a $35 digital product in just a week sound to you? That is exactly what we did last year. And in this video, I break it all down for you in a full digital product launch report. Be sure to watch this video next to get the wheels turning on how to run a sale to that spiffy new audience that you've built.